Hey everybody, welcome to Destiny 2, and today I'm going to be kind of going over a bit of a Lightfall prep video here, uh, kind of just a checklist video to say, you know, like, what I'm going to be doing for that, what I'm going to be grinding for in the meantime before Lightfall, uh, stuff I'm going to use, things like that, just to kind of help people kind of get a general idea of what you should be doing for prep if you want to prep, uh, and then like kind of things you might want to bring into uh, the campaign uh be that normal or legendary campaign um and just stuff like that so we're gonna get right into it uh starting off with just kind of what i'm gonna be bringing into lightfall um in terms of weapons and armor and stuff uh i'm going to be playing my hunter first um but uh this kind of applies to every uh every class here it's just gonna be general things you're gonna want to grab uh in terms of weapons uh primary weapons um, I'd probably bring some sort of SMG, uh, as well as a long-range weapon like a scout. Um, SMGs are just really good in general, and scouts are really good for long-range, especially in Legendary Campaign, where it might be a bit uh, more difficult to kill things. You're going to be want to be behind cover and whatnot. Um, Wither Horde and Arbalest are always good choices. These are like the two best secondaries in the game, um, barring any type of nerfs they might get. I know Wither Horde just got one. Um, but they're still just unbelievably solid, um, as well as a blinding GL. Um, I don't really have the best one in my kinetic slot yet. I'm trying to get a, um, ignition code with it, but, uh, the truth teller in my secondary slot here, in my energy slot is super good. Uh, you just, any, anything with these two is good, but focus on getting one with this. If you don't get an auto loading one, it's not the end of the world. Um, but one with blinding nades, any any grenade launcher with blinding nades is really good. Um, so definitely want that. Enemies just will not shoot at you. So that's really good. Um, DPS options, obviously. Uh, so I know linears are going to get tuned, but they'll probably still be pretty solid. Um, but any type of rocket that m uh, matches your subclass. Um, galley, very solid. Um, legendary campaign, I'm pretty sure swords aren't going to be the play, just because you'll probably get beamed down pretty fast. Um, but I do have Lament here just in case, and obviously the other half, uh, for Eager Edge is super nice, uh, which comes from Dares of Eternity. Um, so that might be worth getting as well, just in case. But yeah, definitely some sort of DPS option that allow you to burst down enemies real quick, uh, as well as good ad clear, so some sort of machine gun. Once again, Galahorn is pretty good for that. Uh, so, yeah, that's really it for weapons. Just really good uh, ad clear weapons. If you don't have an Ekelos SMG, it's super, super easy to get. You just do the seasonal stuff. Um, you want it with Feeding Frenzy Volt Shot or anything with Volt Shot. Um, if you can't get Volt Shot, a Surrounded Roll is uh, also pretty good. But you just come here and you just you unlock the upgrade here, I believe. Where is it? Yeah, gain the ability to focus individual close weapons, and then you just grind the seasonal material, and you either buy this engram, or you just straight up purchase it, um, and you have a chance at Volt Shot, uh, obviously. Just buy a couple, because why not? So, um, yeah, so right there, got one with Volt Shot, so uh, not uh, the worst thing in the world to grind for. Uh, but it's definitely, it's probably the best primary in the game. So it's it's super easy to get now, uh, it being this season. So I would definitely recommend getting one of these uh, just in general, past past even Lightfall prep. <laughs> um, yeah, but once again, kind of just normal options for DPS. I'm kind of banking on there being a sniper buff. Uh, I'm really hoping for one. So I've got this thought list that I've been leveling uh, that I'm going to get enhanced perks on. I've got my Cloud Strike in here is pretty decent um, and then just a few other options like this has always been pretty good partesian but it's really just for for weaponry um if if there's something or if there's one thing you want to bring in or you know one loadout or whatever you want to bring in i'd probably say like something like this and uh, i mean it doesn't have to be this rocket it can be any rocket um that fits or something like this maybe or depending on there being a buff, I'd probably go like this, but something like this would be really good, or even this, um, to bring into the campaign. Uh, in terms of armor, 
Um, for the time being, I'm kind of thinking going with like a general, like a pretty general uh, elemental well build uh, with Fanta Might. Um, so right now mine's all stasis, uh, but just swapping this to like grenade well maker, depending on, or, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, elemental ordinance, um, grenade well maker, well, um, would be pretty decent instead of elemental shards. The only reason I have it on there is because I'm running stasis right now. Uh, so something like that, or, you know, if you're on uh Titan, like hammer Titan or whatever doing, uh, melee well maker instead, pretty easy. Elemental armaments, once again, pretty pretty solid. You don't really need to worry about that, um, because I I have a feeling, I mean for the most part, I'm sure we're gonna be either infusing or replacing a lot of this during the campaign. I say definitely infusing, so definitely stock up on, uh, cores and stuff, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but in terms of subclasses. Um, I'm pretty torn. I want to do Revenant. Um, and I think what will end up happening is they said that during the campaign you'll be doing a lot with Strand. So I'll probably be just running that. So this build may not be as powerful. Um, so maybe something uh, that gives you survivability. So maybe if you do something like... Do I have a Void? Do I not have a Void chess piece, really? Oh. Um, I still need to set up my armor. So maybe doing something like... Um, well tenacity mixed with um, if you have another piece of void armor uh, well tenacity mixed with do I really not have any void boots outside of those okay well well tenacity mixed with um, where is it reaping well maker so every time you activate your class ability um, your next weapon final blow will spell uh, spawn an elemental a void elemental well which will give you a uh, well tenacity, which is like a damage, uh, or uh, excuse me, a um, resistance buff or whatever. So it doesn't matter what subclass you're running. So something more general like that is probably the best. Fanta might and uh, builds around you know like elemental elemental wells are really good. Obviously, if you're running that subclass, but if we're running the, you know, the new subclass, obviously there probably won't be any strand weapons to take advantage of that. Uh, right, like right away. Um, so that that might be a bit of a a uh, change I will make that might be good, um, but generally survivability you want. So any solar subclass probably void maybe, um, especially void. Uh, I'll probably end up going void uh, hunter, going into it just for invisibility. Um, orc titans unless that gets super nerfed um, would be good as well. But uh, if there was one subclass I'd have to pick for each character, I'd probably go. Solar, literally just because of healing nades and the survivability that each um, class gives you on solar. Um, so that would probably be my like one pick if you're indecisive about what to pick just because of the survivability. And I think the only exception to that would be Hunter, literally just because of invisibility. Um, but yeah, so that's really that. Just once again, go for some sort of survivability. Uh, well, tenacity is pretty good. Um, if you end up not really swapping to Strand, Elemental Well build that we've been running, you know, since it came out, um, would be good. Um, in terms of prep, um, there's, I mean, obviously past getting your light level up, um, which, you know, it won't really matter. Um, in terms of prep, once again, bounties. Everyone does the bounty prep. Just go and you do weekly. I don't have any. Um do weekly bounties, um, daily bounties, as many as you can get in, on each character and just save them. And then you can get a head start on the artifact um, that we'll be getting, as well as the season pass, which doesn't matter as much, but there might be some cool stuff in there. Um, so yeah, you definitely want to uh, unlock the further tiers as soon as possible, because that will help you through everything. Uh, so bounty prep. Uh, uh, there are a few good uh, websites you can use. I can pull up here. Um, for those bounties, you can use this Destiny Recipes uh, checklist here. You just log in, and it will give you a checklist for things. So I'm not doing very good here, as you can see. <laughs> uh, but it will show you, like, resources, so legendary shards, how many you, you know, recommended to have. I'm extremely low. Uh, upgrade modules, 
all your you know upgrade materials um but they have this show bounties thing where you can get it will show you when you have these bounties and then when you have them completed uh, but it shows you where to get them and um you know yeah where to get them how much xp it gives you and you can do that obviously for each character which is pretty nice so, uh also has a if we can go back here yeah you just click on that you this is the screen you'll start on after you log in this is the preseason checklist is nice uh this is a bit outdated um uh, i think the bounty one is too but you can still get all those bounties um this is a bit outdated there's some things on here uh that you know there's some things that aren't on here um and there are some things on here that you can't get anymore i'm pretty sure or like old versions of things um that may not have the same perks but for the most part it has pretty good info and you can always add stuff um from the like even if it's new from the api so that's nice uh so if there's something you do want you can add it to this list um but it has like it will show you what the recommended god roll is so like right here blinding aids slide shot with you know like vorpal it should say vorpal there um or you know like you know it also has one of each type of thing uh from what i get to gather here so like yeah like there's a, here's an arc auto rifle here's a void auto rifle here's a solar auto rifle you know here's a void bow and you know an arc bow stuff like that so you have one of each type of thing uh that's mainly used for like champions and whatnot so that's not as important um in my opinion i mean obviously it is if you're going to be running you know stuff where that matters but uh, but yeah, it's a nice kind of little checklist to get you along and look what the god rolls would be. So that's pretty good for prep. Um, some other useful websites, obviously Dim. Um, oh, and that's another thing. Get the weapons you want to use on the character you're gonna you're gonna play before like you know before you start playing when Lightfall comes out because it will this will probably be down like it normally is. So make sure you get the uh, items you want to use on the correct character. Um, as well as just like kind of get your loadout set as well because you can swap these, but you may not be able to do that, obviously. Um, so maybe just get your armor all set up so you can just swap it in your inventory. Um, Today in Destiny is nice if you're uh, looking for specific things. Um, if, you, if you're trying to grind something out... Or you want to see what the you know the daily lost sector is today? It's boots. Actually, that's going to change in a couple hours. Um, so if you know you need a certain exotic, you want to farm for, or you know, if you want to see what the nightfall weapon is, and there's something you want specific you want to grind from from Altar of Sorrow. I know I need the uh, shotgun, so I hope that turns into that. I actually might need one of those. Um, so this is pretty decent to look at as well. Um, D2 Armor Picker, if you're having a hard time looking for builds, um, I know Dim has something like this, but this is just, this is the one I use, it's super nice, so let's say I want, hmm, what build do I want? I want, like, an Assassin's Cow build with max resilience, right? And then it will, you know, pick that armor that will have max resilience, and then what, you know, this stuff will go down, or stay the same, depending on if you have armor that will match that, so I can also have a build with 100 Discipline as well and high mobility and but that gets rid of my recovery because i don't have any armor with you know b crazy stats all of it 100 you know so and then it will show you what armor you want to wear for that what mods you need to put on to get that um how much it's going to cost so obviously i don't have a lot of this masterwork so it's going to cost a lot of material um and i'm pretty yeah you can put on different mods that you want to use as well so we'll take that into a factor and obviously tons of this so Oh, I didn't. I actually didn't even know it did this um, with the different uh, aspects or the different fragments. Ooh, that's helpful. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that this is a super helpful website to use, and it shows you how much of each material you have. Uh, D two Gunsmith is pretty nice too. Uh, when the API updates, it will show you the new weapons um, that you can go after. It'll show you the rolls and stuff, uh, as well as obviously the older stuff. So if there's a specific gun you're looking for, you can look it up. You can check what perks it has. Um, so let's say, I guess it's under your skin, like I want Archer's Tempo, Dragonfly, or whatever, you know, um, but it will show all that with the Masterworks, show its stats and whatnot. So yeah, that's 
pretty much it. Um, in terms of prep, not too much. Once again, just bounties, getting the weapons you might want. Make sure you have one of each element type which uh, with each type of gun. Um, so, you know, like an arc, solar, void, stasis version of, you know, an auto rifle. And there's, you know, it's really just about getting one of each type um, on each gun. Um, and obviously looking for the best role of that. Uh, make sure you have what you want to use on your character. Make sure you have your builds ready, stuff like that. Um, at the end of the day, it's not like it's a necessity to do this. It's just really nice to do that. And obviously bounties as well for that type of thing. Uh, that's really it. There's not a lot of prep that goes into day one stuff like this. Um, day one rating is a bit more complicated, but... That's really just like, make sure you have your champion stuff. Make sure you, you know, you have this type of weapon for this, you know, this type of encounter. Stuff like that. Uh, which is kind of the same here, but day one, day one stuff for like campaigns and stuff aren't usually like, I need to be prepared, prepared, you know. So that's really it for that. Um, I guess maybe on your ghost shell, make sure you have like the blinding light, but I'm pretty sure this is going away or something or like the level six version of this is or something so maybe not that uh i guess m yeah make sure you have like slots open for weapons and armor and uh emblems and everything to make sure it doesn't glitch out and get rid of it uh, make sure you have inventory space for any type of consumable that might be coming in the future uh obviously have these open uh you may be hoarding for like new exotics and stuff obviously uh, so if you're doing that um, then, then obviously don't get rid of them, but yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoy. I will be making a lot of Lightfall content, and I'll see you in the next video.